What is up, everybody? Hello. Welcome to a very special episode of Tucker and the Beard. Um, today's episode is sponsored by Simplest. Uh, Simplest is a marketing consultant team specializing in social media, uh, real estate listing marketing, and custom marketing strategies for your business. If you need to contact Simplest, you can contact them at 928-713-7275 or follow them on Instagram at Simplest Team. All right, let's get to the show. <laughs> Who has the best tacos in town? We'll be the judge of that. All right, so here's how it's going to go down. Um, we have tacos from five very popular restaurants here in the Prescott area. We actually put a poll out and had the people, the persons, rank their best, their favorite tacos. Yes. So we took the top five from that list, and we are going to throw them into the Thunderdome that is the Tucker and the Beard Cave. Now, because we don't consider ourselves experts, no. we had to bring in our friend Taylor Caldwell. Yes, she has done taco challenges and is known to be a taco expert. Yeah, some might even say that she's eaten hundreds of tacos yes. here, in, here in the Prescott area. So, we've got two categories. We've got street tacos and we've got specialty tacos. And um, we have those from each of our combatants and we're going to rank those on a scale of one to five and the place that has the highest cumulative score will be declared the mile high taco champion yes so without further ado let's get to it let's get into round one all right here we are time for round number one we're starting uno. with the street so taco sweet. Round numero uno. Lovely assistant. There it is. Here, I'll slide these go. Down. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. Right. Oh, that's a lot of meat. It is. It is. It's a little small tortilla. Yeah. All right, so we're going to... Smaller. Give it a little, a little sample. There we go. See what happens. We're we going for just one bite or like two? You do what's necessary. Yeah, you take as much as you need to take. To give it an accurate score. All right, here we go. That's mm. some good seasoning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Quality meat. Yeah. When I was first looking, I didn't think seasoning was going to be as good, but it's good. That is a tasty treat. That is a good one. I enjoy it. And just get some of the meat by itself. I just feel like sometimes you gotta just do both ends, you know? No. Sometimes you do. Sometimes no. you do. Yeah. All right. I think I'm ready to Carl. give this one a score. I'm eating like the whole thing. <laughs> Pace yourselves. Seriously. <clears throat> we got a lot to get through. But, oh, um, I could have eaten the whole thing. I don't know. So, for me, this one is a four. Is it the best street taco I've ever had? Not quite, but it's really good. So for me, it's getting a four. Okay. You know, I'm going to go, I'm going to back on you into the Guy Avenue, and I'm going to go with a four, too. All right. Okay. Um, I'm just to make it interesting because I'm going between three and four. I'm going to go with a three just because it's a little small. Okay. It was about like three bites and I was pretty okay. much done. That's so fair. seasoning's good. Just yeah. a little small. Cool, cool. Okay. So this one gets an 11. Okay. All right. Time for yeah. round two. Dose, if you will. Dose and right. Espanol. Down. These look... Okay. Almost the exact same. I feel like I'm being tricked here. No, I mean, size. Look, it does. Size See, uh, this is where you and I, this is something we can agree on when it comes to tacos. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 
Size um, does matter. I agree. Really, it Not does. quite as much Neat. filling. No. In this one. I did notice that as well. All right. The texture of this, though. You're a little bit. No. Yeah. About the oil frying, cooking, mm -hmm. something. Not quite as flavorful. No. The other one had better seasoning. Mm-hmm. And during further investigation, I'm going to open this one up. Okay. You guys ready to give it a score? I'm too biting it. Yes. All right. Tucker, you first. I'm going to give it a three. Go on. But for different reasons. Okay. Just to be fair. Not as much meat and the seasoning on the meat. Not a fan of. The tortillas seemed a little tougher. Okay. I'm going to shoot with the words undercooked. Okay. Yeah. Not quite. Didn't spend quite enough time on the grill. Mm -mm, no. Um, I'm going to go a little undercooked on that one. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to mix it up. I'm actually going to go, I'm going to one up during crush you and I'm going to go two and a half. Wow. Two and okay. a half. Okay. Yeah. And um, I'm also, I'm going to give it a three. I'm going to give it a three. So we've got two threes and a two and a half. So wow. what, what's that? Doing math on the fly here. Um, eight and a half. Yeah. So, all right. Half it is. On to the next round. All right. Okay. Time for round three. Wow. With some chips. Ooh, we got some chips oh, with this one. Oh, what's this? This looks a little different, guys. A little bit different. We got some cheese on this one. Oh. The meat's a little bit more shredded. Oh, it Ooh, smells a little, a little smoky. Smoke, yeah. Smoke. Ooh, dang. Mm. I don't even right. know what ended. Right. Open up over here. Hold on. Mm-mm. Oh. I may have been a little too aggressive with that first bite. Mm -hmm. I'm a little overexcited. Mm-hmm. That happens. Holy cow. All right. Go that for the second tasty. bite. And then a chip. That's a whole different animal. No. You know, is it, I think it might just be a single layer thing. Really? Yeah. All right. Peel it back. And because they gave one. us a chip, I'm going to try one of the right. chips. It's not necessarily part of the score, but, you know, why not? This is definitely not a classic taco. Mm-mm. This has got some, All right. some extra pool. love on it. Yeah. No. And that is a high quality oh. homemade tortilla chip. Yeah. So whoever made this one oh, like, put a little extra love into it. Yeah. All right, ready wow. to give it a score, Taylor? You know what? I'm actually gonna, it's tough because I mean, a couple of tacos I've eaten, I'm looking for uniqueness, you know? Yeah. I like it to be a variety. I'm all about a little yeah. bit of variety. And I'm going to say, this is almost like doing a little bit of a barbecue sandwich thing. Mm -hmm. But without the BBQ. And I'm into it. This mm. is an American classic right here. Yeah, mm. it's not conventional. No. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. yeah exactly. I mean, I think that, you know, my suggestion, um, you know, being... Maybe a, just a, single a, wrap it. Yeah, yeah. single wrap it. Because I think it's almost like the tortilla is just a little... Too much little on that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. But you know what? I'm going to go and hit this with like a four. Okay. I am going to go four as well. Um, it's different from the first one that I gave a four to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, it's just so darn good. It definitely mm -hmm. messes with some conventional taco wisdom. Um, and I'm all right with that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it a four as well, and that's just because I was like, that'd be really cool with some extra like lettuce or some gar yeah. taco garnish, yeah, something like that, but this so, is fantastic. You got a straight up 12 on this guy. Yeah. All right. Very good. Time for round four. Okay. Let's do this. It's round four time. Player four has entered the game. The new challenger approaches. All right, back to the little bit smaller ones. 
All Don't right. count them out, man. Don't count them out. I'm not. Sometimes you gotta like this clean and neat. That'll yeah. work out well. Yeah. yeah. Smart. Nice and tidy. Oh. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Seasoning on point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta say, this is precisely what I want. In a street taco. In a street taco. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. just gonna this take is, those words is, out of your mouth. This is everything. This is it. Everything. The tor all the the tortilla is perfect. Mm -hmm. The meat seasoning is perfect. Exact amount of garnish. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah, this one. I'd marry this one. I mean, I'm telling you, this is perfect. You put a ring on it? Yep, I'd put a All ring right. on this there one. There you go. All right. Yep. Go for it. Yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that thing. I'm going to give it a five. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Okay. This is exactly what I want when I when I get a street taco. I know. This is a five. I love me some perfection, I'm telling you right now. I'm going to hit this with, I don't believe in perfection, okay? I believe okay. in odd numbers. Okay. Because no taco is perfect. So I'm going to have to hit this with a four and a half. Four and a half? Okay. I was like, I was going to go with four and a half, but just to make it, you know, kind of interesting. I'm just, I'm going to go four. Just solid just four. four. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go solid four. That was very good. That's what I'd be looking, looking for, though. So. All right. So we're at 13 and a half? Sure. For this one? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Last round of the Street Taco Challenge coming up. All right, final round of the Street Taco Here we go. portion oh, okay. of our day today. Okay. Ooh, this one's got some yeah. sauce on it. It does. This oh, one has got some sauce. Okay. Oh wow! We're back to shredded beef instead of the the little cubed beef. Yeah, that was. Which I can appreciate. Yeah, I can appreciate that. If you get a good amount and everything. This one looks like it's definitely gonna have. Well. Some additional well flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And instead of two stacked, they kind of stacked to the side to make it a little bit bigger. I can appreciate that. I am glad that I held oh, out my five on that. Yeah, I might. Mm. I might revert my five to a four and a half so I can give this one a five. Okay. Okay. Mm. The spice on this. It's got this. some nice spice. This is this was the first one that's actually had some heat to it. Yeah, but the thing is, which is a detractor for Mr. Tucker. Not totally, but it's not. Yeah. But it's got yeah. a little spice and a little like sweet <laughs> smoke. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Wow. Surprise. It's spicy. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. This is a little red leg district taco. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, Liv. Let's give it a score. Well, all right. Oh man, so I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a weird thing where again I give this a five for a different reason than I give the last one a five. The last one I still stand by was exactly what I want when I have a street taco. This one is a five because oh. it's just the flavor on both of them are huge. I like spice and this this one brought it. So I'm I'm going back in with a five. Okay. I'm you look. he's <laughs> he's not no I'm like all right it's each their own. I'm, I, you know what? I retract my complete statement that I would never hit a taco with a five. But this one, I mean, I'm setting up shop outside of her house. This right. is perfect. All right. This is perfection. You're right. We got enough sweet. Yeah, there's, little there's spice. some sweet, some spice, just the right amount of onion and cilantro on the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I like going with a, like a, like a little bit like, the pulled pork. Yeah, kind the, of thing. yeah. This yeah. one's a shredded, shredded beef again. Yeah, yeah. Instead no, of the no, instead of the 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 cube. Can't up appreciate that beef. Yeah. All right, man. All right, I'm I'm gonna bring it down just because I'm not as much of a yeah. spicy eater. And that's fine. That's, so it that's why we have doesn't make it not good. 
but just for me. I was going to go three and a half. Three and a half? So this one still is at a 13 and a half. Yeah. Now, I think we should bear in mind that a fifth placed finish in this contest is still, according Top to five. us and the public, the fifth best taco in town. Yeah. And there's a hundred plus places to get a taco. Yeah. So um, we'll tally up the scores here in just a moment. And then we are going to move on to the specialty taco round. There you go. Okay. Time for the specialty tacos. Okay. Round one. A big Ooh, round of applause nice. for, yes. for our lovely assistant Jessica today. She Ooh, went all over town cow. getting tacos for us. Thank you so much. We got some shrimp. Some shrimp. Look at this tortilla though. Let's yeah, let's break down of, this tortilla. There's some It's like a fry bread. Yeah, it's it got puffy. Yeah. Now okay. because we had to run all over, you know, some of these that are crunchy tacos aren't gonna be as crunchy as they normally would be. We're not count I'm not gonna count that against anybody. Um it's not their fault. Right. We were trying to run all over town. Exactly. So we'll take that into consideration. Let's right, dig get in. into it. Is now a good time to tell you I'm allergic to seafood? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So normally, I would say that shrimp and cheese don't really go well together. No. This but case. the type of cheese that they used here. Yeah. What kind of cheese is this? Looks like a cotija. A, a feta. Or a feta, yeah. It's a, and there's I was like, you just drop that like you are a cheese expert. Well, listen, <laughs> I know a thing or two about cheese. All right. And um, this looks like a like a Mexican No, take a cheese. raw piece of that. Just a little. That's feta, bro. It is feta. <laughs> yeah, it's, right. when you isolate it. Yeah. But it adds a nice it salty well. and creamy punch to it that... Again, I wouldn't expect to go well together, but oh, hot damn, that's my jam. <laughs> I mean, my biggest thing is that I love me some feta. Don't get me wrong. Maybe a little heavy handed. But you gotta no, be super, like, geez, with the taco is like, we're borderline yeah. on some stuff that's like, well, it's also, you know. Um, with the seafood side of it, you know, I'll say that I like it a little bit like diced, you know? Yeah. I mean, okay. I know I'm it free for it, up. it, you know, but yeah. That's a great yeah. taco. Though. That's really that, good. No, it is a really good taco. That is a great taco. I mean, definitely. I mean, if somebody showed up on my door with that taco, I'd be, I'm in. Yeah. yeah. I'm not yeah. taking you out. No, no absolutely sure. not. No. All right. That'll be really good. Now the hard part. What's your score? Oh, sh why am in the middle? You're going to go with me? Yeah. Because I, I was, you know what? You had the most to say. No. I know I did. I really did. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go with, me fair. And fair rhymes with four, but it also rhymes with five. But I'm going to go with four. It, it rhymes with neither. Neither. But four it is. Yeah. <laughs> um. The feta just threw me off. Yeah. It was a little half the feta, and it almost could have been a five for me. I am going to go four as well. Okay. Okay. I just do three and a half just because it was a lot of feta. Because you're going to be a contrarian. Well, okay. <laughs> Don't judge me for my scores, so, man. Eight, nine, ten, eleven and a half. So there you go. eleven and a half for the shrimp taco. That seems about fair. Yeah. Let's move on to the next round. Time for specialty taco round two. There it is. Oh, okay. This looks. Okay. You can have the extra cheese. Familiar. Thing. Yes. You know we've got a, say a just by like the a, a appearance fried kind of curb appeal. Like it's kind of it seems it seems a little familiar. 
Curb so, appeal is is very familiar. See that it's for like me, I have no idea about this. Mm-hmm. All right. That is a good shredded beef, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's still kind of classic. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, like really, holy messy. Very, very flavorful. The the meat has just a ton of flavor. In yeah. It. Like it's been like soaked or something. Like it's been it's been simmering for days. Yeah. All right. It's it's not fancy. No. But it knows what it is. Gets the job done. And it is not ashamed of it. Yeah, it's not it's not trying to be anything it's not. Um Tucker, what's your score? I'm gonna say for the classicness of it and the meat. I'm trying not to count the shell because it's Again, been, yeah, we're not counting that against it. We know Listen, that was a hot mess of me trying to yeah. bite into it. So if I'm trying to take that out of it. So I'd say if it was like a normal hard shell, which I think that is, I'm gonna go with a four. Okay. I'm gonna be fair. I think it's good. And you're right. I, I'm leaning on the classic yeah. vibration of it. Right. So I'm gonna be super cool about it. I'm gonna go with four too. Okay. Because it's so classic. Right. Um I don't think it quite breaches that specialty. There's is it bad? Absolutely not. Oh, very yeah. true. But is it special? Right. I gotta say no, and I'm gonna go three. Okay. Because you gotta beg to be different. Yeah. 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 Because you're you. So, all right. On to the next round. <laughs> all right. It's time for what is this round three? I the think specialty so. round. I think so. Uh oh. That's going that way. We got a. Oh. We got a flat taco. We do. AKA. A tostada, a tostada, if you will. And just because I'm not an avocado eater, I'm just You're not an this. avocado aficionado? I am not. That in the refied, but we're going to... I'm going to still hit a bite. That, I'm still going to hit okay. a bite. Tay's not a huge when it's refried bean fan. I'm going to try, and, I'm gonna like try and turn this into a taco. Yeah, it's like it, it kind of is a taco in a weird... Trying to get a little bit of everything in here. Okay. I'm going to dissect it a little bit here. Okay. I'm going to try and get it good. I'm going to try and get a bite of not, actual meat in it. But not like overly flavorful. Um, you know, it doesn't like blow me away. With its flavors. Yeah, I'm good. Probably would have been yeah. better as a as a knife and fork meal. Um or at least a fork. But it's good. I enjoy it. But like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna crave it. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Be, I'm not gonna be ordering this when I. Yeah, it's not like oh, you know, it sounds really good. Whatever right this now, is. this thing. Whatever it's from this place. Listen, it seems like it's trying to figure out what it is, and it just hasn't gotten there yet. Yeah. All right. So, all right, you start. This is uncharacteristic for me. I'm gonna go two. Yeah, I'd break up with this one too. Okay. I'd go two. Well, I'll be a little bit nicer. Not my much. I'm going to give it two and a half. Just because it was all beans. Yeah, too much bean on and there. And the, the meat, like... Which, I mean, nice it, it is a toast Yeah, You're there was a... For a little and it's, yeah, just nothing kind of, jumped out at me. Right. I was like, mm. Mm hmm So... And I'm also like, who's going to kiss you with this much? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, lot of raw onion on there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this one's going to get a grand total of six and a half. 
Yeah. On to the next round. All right, because one of our one of our places that we that were chosen doesn't actually have all they have is street tacos. Um, so this is the final round the final for contender. Uh, the specialty taco round. Oh, and wow. Okay. They made this one look real pretty. I don't know if you can I'm see that they oh, yeah. my avocado mess. But I'm gonna dig in. That's I, I didn't that's a, I'm thing with then. you. I'm, yeah. Listen, I'm that's gonna, a really I'm gonna take that's one for a pretty the team. taco. I'm gonna take one for the team. It's real pretty. I'm gonna do take I gotta, the big chunk of avocado off that bite. We're gonna it's nothing but avocado. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is an avocado taco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Damn. Yeah. You can tell by our silence that yeah. we're impressed. Well, I, and, yeah. Well, and I'm trying to figure mine out. <laughs> oh, we're He's still trying negating to find the. It. Well, uh, just so I can taste it, but not yeah. the chunks of said avocado. The meat is yeah. very tender. Yeah. Very flavorful. For me, it's like guac. That's on top of this. That guac is money. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely delicious. Just the right amount of cheese on the top. The queso on point. And when some of it falls off, now you have chips and guac. Yep. You got mmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hit us with a score. Grandioso. Fiverr. Wow. It's a bold statement. Yeah. It is. It hits. It checks all the boxes. For yeah. Me. Okay. It's classic. In the same way that one of the other ones was kind of classic, but it's still got that extra. Yeah. It's got that something that makes it different, for sure. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, did, did you give your score? Or yeah. You just didn't she, hear said, it? she said five. You went five. I'm going five as well. This okay. is, I'm this gonna is make, my favorite. I'm going to make a bold statement here. Because of my not like of avocado and guacamole, so not my first thing. But the bites that I got, the meat is awesome. And the other spices. So, I'm going to go four. Because it was really, like, if I went there, I'd be like, okay, no, no guac. And I think that that'd be, you'd be like, I'd be very satisfied with it. with it. Yeah. All right. So we got a 14 for that one. There you go. All right. Well, it's time to tally the scores up. We'll be right back. There you go. All right. We have the winners. The time has come. The scores have been tallied. The tacos have been ranked. And this was pretty cool. That was a, a couple of them were pretty close. Yeah. So let's start off with the street taco category. Go ahead. All right. So street taco in well, we did have a tie, but so it, last place, uh, Taco Don's. They got an eight point five. Um, next in fourth place, we had this dude's food with eleven. And third place, we had Sugar Skull with twelve. And then we had a tie for first. Yeah, a tie for first, which was Street Treats and Gringo's Tacos. So Spicy Streets and Gringo's tied for first with a total of 13.5 points. Um, and then in the specialty category, um, coming in in fourth place uh, with six and a half points is Spicy Streets. Yeah, and coming in in third place at 11 points is Taco Don's. The, the classic. With their classic um, taco. Second place, it was 
kind of close, but kind of not at the same time. Um, all of these tacos were delicious, but yeah. second place was this dude's food with 11 and a half points. And the winner. First place, the Red Wagon herself. Gringos for a 14. That one oh. ran away with it. So that got two first place, so I'm saying. Yeah. They I gotta say, they did best tacos in the Prescott area. As of this table right now. According to us, based on a poll voted on by you, Gringo's Tacos comes okay. in with double first place victories, even though one was a tie. Yeah. Um, Credit to Spicy Streets. Yeah. Give them, give them a solid up on that. Well, all of the, all of them were really good. Yeah. So, yeah no. I mean, Again, yeah. even even a last place finish in this <laughs> particular still, like, is, yeah. is still one of the best tacos you can get in town. You cannot go wrong with any of them. So, um, and hey, none of them knew that they were even participating in this today. So there we go. There we are. Um, anyway, thank you um, to all of the all of the restaurants for making amazing and delicious food. Thank you guys for watching and to thank Simplest. And no, to and thank to Simplest thank you guys. for for sponsoring this yeah. episode and for being our our expert judge. Yes. And um, yeah, yeah. Until next time, she's Taylor. He's Tucker. It's Beard, and we're out. <laughs>